Ah, she. Here we go again. Hello. Hello. Are you bored sitting out the back of the car? Is it locked? Let's get him to come out. <laughs> uh, windows aren't open. Who let the dogs out? Jack. Jack. Whose dog is that? Are you going to freak out like the Cameroon ladies in the World Cup last night? No. Aww. <laughs> is he coming on the walk with us? Yes. Aww. What's his... What's the dog's name? Maisie. Maisie. It's a woman. Aww. Maisie. That's a girl's name. Hello, Maisie. Probably because it's a female dog. Mostly tea, orange. Walking on, walking on, donkey shy. We just walked past donkey shite on this road, but we dodged it. So now, nah. just checking my shoes. Um, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Humidity isn't as high as expected because the past few days have been checking um, the weather forecast, Campbell and Lager and Port I think it's like 16 or 17 degrees Celsius. What's the hottest temperature you've ever experienced, Bill, all around the world? Oh, uh, I think it was in Spain, but it must have got about 20, thereabouts. 29, 30? That'll be that. Oh, I'm melt if I was that. <laughs> In Dubai for most of the year, it's like near 40. God, mm -hmm. metal wouldn't melt in that. No, actually, I think, I think we're 100 degrees Celsius. Yeah, do you remember that heat wave, 2003? Uh, I was yeah. in Scotland at the time on holiday. Wow, Scotland had sunny weather. Who'd have yeah, <laughs> back when I had, when I spent my childhood summer holidays there in Scotland, staying with my grandma. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and last year that heat wave was something else. And number one for eight weeks. One kiss is all it takes. Falling in love with me. Possibilities. One. <laughs> one kiss is the bohemian rhapsody of this generation. <laughs> Fucking what? Brace yourselves. Wimbledon is coming. No one cares. <laughs> Millions of people watch it around the world, though. Say that again. No, I'm not going to say that. They'll, they'll put it on YouTube and he'll... <laughs> no, I'm not going to... Vinny can come across quite miserable. He never goes on our walks to Ilogan Woods, Stan Portreath. But he's been rarely seen at the youth club in the past few years. <laughs> well, it's his loss, I guess, but... <laughs> In a few weeks, I'm going to be watching. I do miss Laura, though. Mm. I really liked her. Mm. Do you remember Poseida? I miss her. Yeah, yeah, I remember her. She was cool. She was... Remember Jane? Transgender? Oh, yeah, I remember her. She's cool. She's right. Yeah, she was really cool. I saw her at um, Truro Comic Con last summer. Oh, yeah. Hadn't seen her in what, three years. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be see Spider Man Far From Home in a few soon. Cool. And I want to see it probably after the second... I want to see Blinded by the Light. Mm. It's that film set in the 80s. It's okay. British Pakistani living in Luton, obsessed with Bruce Springsteen at the time of racial and economic division. Hmm. Okay. Set to Bruce Springsteen's soundtrack. Nice. And he's number one in the album's chart. 11th number one album for The Boss. Will go, oh, Boss? Bill? Yes? Want to hear a joke? What? What do the Twin Towers and oh, genders no. have oh, in common? Christ, they don't. What? There used to be two, but now it's a very touchy subject. Uh, yes, yeah, so <gasps> Come here, come here. <laughs> Easy now. Oh my god. Oh. No. It's not mine. I saw... It's not no, mine. It's not good. Very muddy. Yeah, Matthew's shoes on there. Mm -hmm. If that's on, that never shuts up. Unlike you, who doesn't even shut up at all when you should. Shut up about it. <laughs> it's been so hard to Look at the wood. <laughs> Who's Nicola Wood? 
down there, I wonder? Hey James, um, I'm you I think made, uh, One of Bigfoot is down there. Hey James, Bigfoot! I think you made the right choice about right? taking some more shoes, mate, because I've got my hey. normal ones on. Uh, Greymon! Hey, yeah. Greymon! <laughs> then if you heard that song, um, I, I was talking about one of the most hated kids' characters. What's that? I love you, you love me. Let's tie oh, Barney. Oh, God. Let's tie, no. let's tie Barney to a tree and we'll kick him in the nuts and shoot him in the head. <laughs> oh, okay, he's Barney's dead. <laughs> Barney the dinosaur. Or as I'm probably going to call him, Emily's teen idol. Tinky Winky, Gypsy, Lager, Poo, <laughs> Smelly Puppies, was... Smelly Puppies, <laughs> say, <laughs> Fair Cough, Fair Cough. <laughs> Um, S Club and Martin Kemp. Oh, cool. Yeah. S Club. I wonder if Hannah Spirit would be there, because she was at True Comic Con last summer, and I met her, and I discussed to her that any chance going on Strictly, she said, maybe next year or the near future, and I discussed to her, I was all talking about that celebrity boxing match she did with Vanessa White oh, God, from yeah. the Saturdays. I said, oh, you were robbed. I... When, she, when Vanessa kicked you... And Hannah's like, oh, yes, I was robbed. And her eyes turned very, well, <laughs> her eyes turn into a picture, <laughs> angry picture. I mean, no, I think gonna... She's a lovely girl, though. I yeah. think it's possible they're going to bring back celebrity boxing. Celebrity Big Brother. Celebrity boxing. The celebrity boxing. Yeah. yeah, celebrity boxing for, let's, yeah, sport relief. Yeah, next year, probably. All right, um... I do think Big Brother should come back, but only on one term. What? Celebrity Big Brother, Stand Up For Cancer, Channel 4. When Big Brother was on Channel 4, they actually got real celebrities in yeah. the house. Yeah, I've only got Stephen Baldwin once. Stephen Baldwin, that was the last series of Channel 4. They also had Vinnie Jones, Stephanie Beecham, oh. Ivana Trump, well, last year they Bass did... Hunter. I remember last year they... How did they get to Kirstie Alley? That's quite... Sorry. Yeah, last year on Channel 4, they got Kirstie Alley in there, and... Sam Patlet. I censored her name there, so I just don't want to. <laughs> but the best series of Celebrity Big Brother was 10 years ago, where it had Ulrika Johnson, Terry Christian, Coolio, Vern Troyer, also had Latoya Jackson, Mutia, Ben Adams. What a lineup that was. Do you remember also Tina Malone from Shameless? She had a lot of rows with Coolio, it was so oh, funny. She rows, oh, she rows with everyone. I don't have to listen to you! At all! Uh, tie swing! The tie swing is still there! Woo! <laughs> mm. make a good oh, Bill, yeah. got another joke. No, I heard the other day that Curry can cure cancer. Can't yeah. help but feel that Shil Pachetti had the last laugh. <laughs> Tire swing. Don't worry, I got a bus that time. I'm gonna go on it. Gonna go on this tire swing, sit on it while filming at the same time. Oh, okay, here we go. Hey Bill, remember which Mariah Carey video where she was on a tire swing? Oh, right. Always be my baby. Oh. Better not drop this. I'm the dog. You will always be a part of me. I'm part of you indefinitely. <laughs> oh, because oh, you'll oh. always be my baby. Woo! Oh, there she goes. I'm Tarzan. <laughs> Hi, puppy dog. Whee! Woohoo! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Right, got, your, got your footage. Come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, not that dangerous. The girl is so dangerous. Yeah. You know what? I was, I was kind of. When... Michael Jackson's best album, oh, and right. tomorrow will be the tenth anniversary of his death. Yeah. Yeah. He's still and will forever be the king of pop. Well, despite the allegations. The allegations are just BS. Just for money. Just, just. Wade yeah. Robson and James Safetruck have been proven liars for years. Wade Robson went out with Michael Jackson's niece in the late 90s and cheated on her. And after Michael Jackson's death, Wade Robson was mourning. He wanted, he wanted a directing job for Michael Jackson dance tribute tour. Didn't get the job. Then he filed for bankruptcy. Then he suddenly said, Michael Jackson molested me. And then the courts in LA said, we're not having it. 
And in that documentary, which I won't mention the title of, because it's such a waste of four hours, <laughs> ma many of the stories were debunked and proven lies, such as apparently Michael Jackson visited their house for Thanksgiving 1987, but at the time, Michael Jackson was on bad tour in Europe. Okay. Okay. I'm a huge Michael Jackson fan, but I still find humour in some of the jokes about him. <laughs> Like, God. what do Michael Jackson and the PlayStation 2 have in common? Uh, they on. both used to be black and they sometimes get turned on by little boys. <sighs> oh, oh, God! Oh, man! <laughs> Conrad Murray? Yeah. Did, oh. the, did the drugs you prescribed to Michael Jackson kill him? No, they did not. <laughs> I see Justin Bieber has the same jacket by Michael Jackson. Shame he doesn't have the same doctor. Ooh. <laughs> well, he seems to become a lot less of a dick lately. So. Nah, Bieber's still a grade A prick, in my opinion. Did you hear about Liam Neeson's new film? What? Man, Ta no, Taken Out of Context. <laughs> it's true though, come on. Uh. <laughs> Even John Barnes exactly understood Liam Neeson's story, how he was guilty of what he thought, and that Liam Neeson deserves a medal for his bravery. <laughs> there needs to be like a big theme hit for the women's England team, for the Lionesses. Oh, yeah. Apparently, how many times has the England ladies reached the Women's World Cup quarterfinal? Quite a few times. Four times, I believe. It's four or five times. But in the last Women's World Cup, England reached the semi finals. Yeah. We're in the quarterfinals playing Thursday against Norway. Come on, lionesses. You go, girls. Woo! Mizey is stealing this vlog. She's become the latest star of my YouTube channel. Like Mizey? Maisie, Maisie sorry. Okay. Come on, Maisie. Isn't the English language hard sometimes when it's still your first language? Yeah. Tokyo, Japan is nine hours ahead UK yeah. time. Because I remember when the Beijing Olympics opened ceremony back in 2008. Yeah. Starts at 8 o'clock p.m. Mm. Beijing time, and they're eight hours ahead of London, UK. Well, all of UK. It was like lunchtime 12 here. So oh, imagine UK time, the open ceremony at Tokyo 2020 will be 11 o'clock in the morning. Should be an awesome open ceremony. What do you expect from the Japanese popular culture? Mm. Uh, Lots of anime, probably. Dragon Ball. Yeah, Pokemon, Digimon. Also, films, The Ring, Grudge, Godzilla. Yeah. One of Takeshi's castle will be in the middle of the stadium. <laughs> and Count Takeshi, if he's still alive, can start the Parade of Nations. Ige! And then in come the, all the competing nations. That would be awesome. <laughs> and always with tradition. Every Olympic Games, Greece March first in the Parade of Nations. Rightly so. Yeah, so uh, kind of depends who the director is. I'm gonna have Danny Boyle for us. Uh... Oh, Danny Boyle! I'm amazed he turned down a knighthood after that open ceremony. It was spectacular. 2016, somebody who directed the Constant Gardener. Great film. Yeah. I know you're talking about, but I can't remember his name. 2020, I'm gonna have to look that up. Maybe it's that guy who's directing the next James Bond film, Fukunaga? Yeah, could be. Mm. Maisie! Hi. Maisie! Hi. We should go to the beach for a few minutes. We can do that in a minute, Jack, if you want. Oh, cool. If we have time. We so, can do it now. Oh yeah, who just farted? It's twenty-five to eight. Oh, what's that? Is that payback? Payback. Oh god. Good god, it smells like Vinny's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh burn! Vinny's never gonna watch this. Don't worry. It's dead.
Smells like Anne Whittacombe's minge. <laughs> 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 uh, like every year on our tradition, walking down the Logan Woods down to Portreath, we're stopping at the Portreath Arms bar, restaurant, and motel. Is it a motel? I'm not sure. Don't think so. Yeah. Oh. Uh huh. I should visit this place more often, instead of just once a year. Last year, my last vlog down in Logan Woods in Portreath, I ordered my meal pretty late. It was the last one in the group to order my meal, my late dinner. It was the last one to order my dinner. And I was still waiting for my dinner, and they're already leaving through Logan Woods. I'm like, but this year, I've ordered much earlier, and I'm patiently waiting. So, it's all cool, it's all cool. <laughs> Mmm, yummy! That dinner was lovely, scrumptious, and also ordered a chocolate milkshake, and it was delicious. Mmm, yeah, really enjoyed the dinner. Portreath Arms, fabulous. As always, great customers, great staff. Most importantly, great staff, always nice, and it's worth a check here. Portreath Arms, you have on a day out, Portreath, Portreath Arms is worth checking out. And here my mates at the club are ready to walk back up Elugan Woods again here. And I'm just enjoying half past eight, still broad daylight. Oh God, I love June and I love summer, particularly summer is my favourite season. It's always has been. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Paul. <laughs> yeah. I won't let the sun go down on me. So, ready to go back, Bill? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm done. Can I introduce you, please, to a lump of cheddar cheese? Can I introduce you, please, to a lump of cheddar cheese? What's up, Theo? What's up? Good to see you back. Haven't seen you in three months, mate. Cheers, mate. Great to see you good back memory. at the club. I, I like your memory of dates. <laughs> yeah, you are here. It's good to see you back here at the Logan Woods Portreath hangout, like in our vlogs last year. And did you vote in the European elections? No, I was in Blackpool. Uh, I voted for the Green Party. Good man. Brexit. So did my dad and mum. Cool. The Brexit party may have won, but if you combine the Green and Liberal Democrats votes, they got more than the Brexit party. <laughs> Steam engine! <laughs> but you'll never be alone, I'll be with you from dusk till dawn, I'll be with you from dusk till dawn. Dusk Till Dawn is probably my, it's actually Dusk Till Dawn is my favourite song from a One Direction, from a One Direction member in a solo career. Well, not really solo, it was a duet with Sia, beautiful song. You said it was a song from Eurovision, funny you said that, because right. there was a song in Melody Festival in the Swedish selection this year that sounded similar to that song, Hold You, Liam Yu and Hannah right. Firm, which came Okay, well, um, full time, Spain 1, US 2. Oh, cool. The reigning champions, USA, cruising through to the quarterfinals, and I think they'll be the only non-European squad in the quarterfinals. Mm -hmm. Football is very dominated. Football is a very European-dominated sport. And in, the, uh, and in the other match, Sweden nil, Canada nil. What's the current score? Uh, hey, yes, Sweden nil, Canada nil. Are you looking forward to Frozen 2? Yeah, I'm gonna see that. Oh, I can't wait to see Elsa, Anna, Olaf, that's my, Sven. That's my annual birthday movie this year. Oh, cool. I'm not gonna see it on the action. I hope. Because my birthday this year is on a Monday, I'll be at Social Group. Hmm? So I'm gonna see that on the yeah. next I hope in the second Frozen film, Sven falls in love with a reindeer called Ulrika. <laughs> <laughs> What did Freddie Mercury and Ayrton Senna have in common? Oh, God. They both died with skid marks on their helmets. <laughs> oh, my God. A very old joke, but... <laughs> Arsenal fan parking only. Tragic. 
I wonder if people go camping here. Very, very low density place to camp, but it's probably some clear space to put up a camping tent. And... Heal the world, make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. There are people dying. I've heard the new Top Gear is really good. Yeah. With Paddy McGuinness and yep, Paddy Flintoff. I knew it was a quicker tour. Would you believe it? It's happened again. Got my legs, no, my left leg is okay, but my right, my right leg, it's happened again for a second year. I don't believe it. Do you hear what I'm talking about, Bill? Yeah. Damn. Oh well, it's no big deal. Who would play Eva Cassidy in a film biopic? Um, this isn't a joke. Um, no, it's not. Oh good. Uh, Emma Stone? I'll, I think Brie Larson would do an amazing job yeah, playing Eva Cassidy. <laughs> Captain Marvel playing Eva Cassidy. That'd be good. It'd be very emotional. I think Brie Larson would look the part of Eva Cassidy as well. Yeah. Eva Cassidy had the voice of an angel. Yeah. And do you know... She was never popular before she died, but do you know who played her? Oh, yeah. Um, Terry Wogan. Yeah, Radio 2. Yeah. Terry Wogan, Radio 2, launched Eva Cassidy to Pontium I mean, Stardom. I mean, she was popular in America, wasn't she? she? Very little popularity in the States before she passed, I think, but... Gonna go on this tire swing again, and I'm going to be singing a song from Bill's all-time favourite film, oh, The Greatest Showman. You love The Greatest Showman, don't you, Bill? I've seen it, but I've <laughs> heard enough of that. He was sick to death of the album being number one in the album's chart for so long. Come on. Here we go. What if we rewrite the stars? Say you were made to be mine. Nothing can keep us apart. What if we rewrite the stars? Say you were made to be mine. Nothing. Okay, that's enough. Okay. Woo! I'm not going to have a go because. <sighs> Felt the urge to sing the first part of the course again. Oh, uh, oh hello there. Oh. Hello. Let's go. Had a good night out, Maisie? Yeah. Lovely Technically, lovely it's still night. day, but. <laughs> Yeah, did you see the sunset at longest day summer solstice on Friday? Oh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> there she goes. There Maisie goes again. Maisie's back. Did you hear the news about John Prescott, Theo? Was that with the drugs? No, um, former Deputy Prime Minister with um, Labour. He suffered a stroke a few days ago, and he's in hospital. I got him mixed up with a guy that grabs him. Michael. I can't believe that man's 81. Yeah, he, yes, he's had, he had a great political career. <laughs> that was Mark Field who grabbed that girl by the throat and kicked her out. Yeah, not on, is it? Totally not on. But she was wrong to crash a private dinner party. Yeah, but everybody's a bit of a rebel, let's be honest. Rebel. Kind of true in a way, better, I understand. Better to be a rebel than be someone who's violent, isn't it? Rebel, rebel! <laughs> rebel, rebel, do, 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 do. I love you, do, 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 I've been watching, I've been waiting in the shadows for my time. I've been searching. Sing it louder, Theo. tomorrow. Where were the band from? Can you remember? Ramones? No. Rasmus. The Rasmus. Yep. Where were they from? Uh, States? No. Britain? Somewhere in Europe. Oh. I've got Belgium in my head. No. Same country. Nightwish and Lordy are from. 
is it um, Scandinavia? Finland. Finland. Yeah. Uh huh. See, I'm on it tonight. So, Bill, next time we see each other, Geekfest 5.0. <laughs> Should be an awesome weekend. Looking forward to seeing Natalie again. Yeah. That's cool. And the cosplay contest. I'm not cosplaying this year. Did you say, as you said last year, Kieran, you were going to cosplay what's his name from Wario Wear? Uh, Jimmy Fang. Oh, cool. Are you cosplaying him? Uh, yeah. Wow. I'll, well, I'll be voice impersonating him as well. That's then. awesome. Yeah, cool. How yeah, I see yeah, you. Yeah, you yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Are all of you going to Geek Fest? Yeah, I don't I'm going on Saturday. Saturday. That's cool. Um, yeah, I'm you'll going on both be, days. It'll be Sunday, though, because I'm going to I still might be, Saturday. maybe. Yeah, yeah. so. I cosplayed the last three years, but I won't be this year. I'll just be vlogging. Vlogging? Okay. Vlogging for your YouTube. Uh-huh. Vlogging for your channel, yeah. After your last video, which I saw. Bye, Maisie. It was really nice meeting you. It was really nice meeting you. Bye, Maisie. Say subscribe to Jack. <laughs> nah. Have a good night, Maisie. Peace out.